Hey guys, Min here. So check this out. I got this business card. It's my business card. And I will tap it on my phone. And look, there is my contacts. That's pretty cool, right? And if tapping doesn't work, I can always just simply open up my camera app and scan this QR code. And there is my contacts again. So how cool is that, right? So today in this video, I will show you how to make the ultimate business card. So let's get started. So just a little reminder, since this is a multi-step tutorial, the video may be a little bit longer. So please feel free to use the timestamps below to jump to any sections that you see fit. But if you want to build the really cool ultimate business card of your own, then please watch the whole video till the end. Okay, so let's start with NFC. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. And for an NFC card, what I mean is a tap and go card, similar to the expensive Vice or Popple or Tappy card. But first, we would need to use either an NFC sticker or an NFC card like this. Now, with a card like this, it is pretty cool. It's like a credit card, but you will take some uh, creativity to put some very nice fancy design on here. Or you can follow my previous video, which you can see here, which where I use two business cards and a glue stick and one of these NFC stickers and simply glue the two cards together and an NFC sticker inside that will work just fine. All right, once we have the NFC sticker inside the business card, we can then simply use our favor app, which is the NFC tool app to program it. Remember, since iPhones can only read the URL field in an NFC card, that is what we're gonna be using to trigger the contact information. So what we do is we put the contact information in the location and put the URL of that location into the NFC. The key question now is, where should I put the VCF or the virtual card file? There's a couple of options. The easiest option that I found is called vCard link. And you can check out the vCard link here by simply scanning this QR code. Now, this may be the easiest method, but you should use this with caution because the information you're stored is on someone else's server and I have nothing to do with that one. So you will have to balance the risk on your own. However, if you just put public information there that you can find elsewhere, then it should be okay. So let me step you through the process on my iPhone. First, let me open up the browser and enter in vCart link. All right, once I'm there, only thing I need to do is type in my V card information, card name. So we'll just call it test card. And enter it an address. This is so that you can add, edit it in the future. So um, so I have one set up before, so I'll just enter that. And let's enter in our title, Mr. Suffix, okay. Min Chen, and I'll just add an email. That's it. Well, actually, I have a phone number, and we'll do 555 555 555. Done. All right, and we'll create a card. Okay, there is the card that's been created. And from here, I can actually use where this is where it'll show you where the um, the QR codes and the URL and so on. The QR codes here is not what we want to use in the near future because this is QR code is actually a link to this website. So what we want is we want to copy the VCF file here. We copy it, close, and we simply then go to our NFC, tab, NFC tools, 
Okay, and we want to write on the NFC tools and we want to add a record. We want a URL, URI. And we want to edit, oops, click on this here and then paste it in there. All right, paste that thing in there, good. And then we click OK. And now we want to write. And we simply grab our NFC card, which is the business card with an NFC sticker inside, and then tap. OK, it's programmed. Now let's test it out. Grab the card, and there it is. We open it up, and Mr. Min Chen, 555. Five, five. There it is. Pretty simple, right? Okay. Now, the other option to do this, besides using Dropbox like we did in the previous video, is to use your own website. So if you're technically savvy and you feel comfortable doing this, simply put a .vcf file or the virtual card file somewhere in the publicly accessible link and that's it. Now, if you also have WordPress, you can actually upload the VCF file as a media in WordPress. However, WordPress by default will not allow you to do that because of the security of the file extension. So you will need to modify the file extension security to include the VCF file format. So to do that, check out this QR code link here and this will show you how to do so. Now, if there are any interest, I'll be happy to create a new video showing you the details on how to do that. Once you have the location, of course, from WordPress, simply copy it and do what we just did in the demonstration earlier, and there you go. There you have it. The NFC is created, and you have a easy-to-go, tap-and-go file. So if you're actually trying to share your contact information, for example, on an airplane, there is no internet access there. So we cannot use the tap-and-go feature. So this is where we need to use QR codes. QR codes will allow you to embed the card information right inside the code itself. QR codes can actually store about 3Ks of data, but QR code will probably be huge if you have 3Ks of data. In fact, there's one guy that actually uses QR codes on the internet to create a game, a game that's actually stored inside the QR code. That's pretty crazy, right? All right, how do you create a QR code with your contact information inside the QR code, well, that's pretty easy. You simply go to this website or the QR, scan this QR code here of qrcodegenerator.com and we'll step you through it, that, that process. Okay, so let's get started. First, uh, let's open up a browser, goes to qrcodegenerator.com. If you click on the upper uh, left-hand corner, you'll see this selection of URL, vCard, and text, and all that. So what we want to do is select vCard, and simply put in your information in there. I'll do Min, I'll do Chen, and we'll do the phone number only again. We'll do 555, 555, 555, 555. Okay, done. And go on the bottom, it says generate code. And there it is. You could actually do some other fancy things with it, shape, color, you know, all sorts of dots, those type of things as well to change your QR code. Um, or even add it in a logo if you want. But we'll just leave the basic and then simply click on download um, JPEG. And it'll generate the code and it'll let you download the QR code. Okay, so you see that? And then you can just save the download QR code. And if you go into your file And there is my QR code frame. Okay, so we can actually just put this and print this QR code out. What I've been using is something like this. It's a sheet of stickers of one inch by one inch stickers. So once it's printed out, I can simply take the sticker and stick it onto my business card. And there it is. Once it's sticked on there, I could just simply scan it and that information is on the contact. So that's it. That's the ultimate business card. It's super easy, right? It supports both the tap and go 
NFC and the QR code. So if you find this interesting, you might find these other videos interesting as well. So if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.